All right, guys, I'm Mark Perry, founder of Built Lean. We're going to do a three-minute mobility routine. This is designed for the end of the workout to open up your body and slowly improve your mobility, your flexibility. So let's get started. So the first exercise we're going to do is just a seated hamstring stretch. And so I'm going to bring my right leg, bring it close to my inner thigh. If you're unable to do that, you can bring it closer to your knee. That's fine. And next, we're going to drop down. And if you're unable to drop down, you're all, you're all up here, that's okay. You want to flex your quad and drop down further. And so you're going to flex your quad. The more you flex your quad and even your hip flexor, the more you're going to be able to drop down into the stretch, okay? And so we're going to hold this for just a little bit longer. Another few seconds. Remember to breathe. Now we're going to the other side. We're going to bring your left foot into your right thigh. And again, if you're unable to go too far, that's fine. You can bring it towards your knee. And we're going to hold it here, relax. And slowly we're going to drop down into the stretch. And again, if you're up here, that's fine. We're just going to slowly drop into it. Remember to keep your quad flexed. Excellent. We're going to do this for just another couple seconds. Next thing we're going to do is a 90-90 hip stretch. We're going to put your right foot in front of your left. And so that your left foot's behind at a 90 degree angle. Your right foot's in front at a 90 degree angle. And this might be tough. You might be pushed all the way to the side like this. Or you might be all the way to the side when you're doing this, which is okay. The easier way is you can actually pull your feet into your legs and your butt. So it's called a shin box in jiu-jitsu, and it's a little bit easier. But I want you to stand up as tall as you can. And even if you're off the side, that's fine. And just hold yourself up here. And attempt to straighten, make yourself as straight as possible. Make yourself as straight as possible. Next up, let's go to the other side. And again, you can do the 90-90 if you're flexible enough. And then drop down. Or you can do the shin box. And hold yourself upright. So again, ideally, both... Both cheeks of your butt are going to be on the ground. It's not quite like that for me. I lack internal rotation in my hip. It's not quite like that for me, but if it's, it's like that for you, that's awesome. Um, we're just going to kind of hang out in here. Relax. So the last one we're going to do together is the T-spine rotation. And how it works is we're going to start with both legs here. Both legs. One arm straight. And we're going to reach over. As far as you can. Now, you might only be able to get to here, which is fine. And you're just going to follow your hand and breathe. And then out. In. Out. In. Out. And just relax. And eventually, you're going to hang out here. And we'll do that for a minute. Remember to breathe. If you're not breathing fully... You're definitely not doing it properly, and you're not getting the benefits. It's all in the breath. Okay, next up, we're going to do the other side. So I'll just show you from here. We're going to the left side here. We're going to the left side. Breathing out. We're going to follow this hand, your left hand, over. And so dancers can like drop their leg and touch the ground, but you know, most dudes aren't dancers. So we're going to be just probably here. So I'm just going to relax. You can drop your head to the ground and just look at it. Start here. So if you can see my shoulders, they're basically parallel. And we're going to drop over. 
and dude, just hanging out here, you don't have to go all the way down. Just here is pretty good. I'm feeling a pretty big stretch in my rear delts. Of course, you can go lower if you can. Remember, the, the rotation should be coming from your T-spine. Awesome. 